To tie Ted's anchor knot, we're going to start with a munter hitch, and I'm going to show you two different ways to get into the munter hitch. For the first one, we will pass the rope over the eye, and then bring it back towards us through the eye, like this, and then bring that up on the right-hand side of the standing part of the rope. So far, this is the same way we got into the clove hitch, and it's the same way we're going to start the red bay anchor knot. So all three of those knots start the same. Now is where it changes. We're going to cross the rope, the standing part of the rope, at 90 degrees, like I've done just there. We're going to take the working end and send it back through the eye the way it came. And there is our munter hitch. A munter hitch is a sliding hitch. You can see the rope sliding here, and you can turn it around. It'll flip, and it'll, it'll work itself the other way. So this is our munter hitch, and I'm going to go through that one more time to help you get into the munter hitch, and then I'll show you a different way to get into the munter hitch. So for this method, once again, just cross over the eye, bring the working part of the rope back towards us through the eye, cross over the standing part of the rope at 90 degrees, send the working end of the rope back through the eye the way it came, and there's our, there's our munter hitch. One of the advantages, I guess the main advantage of this anchor knot compared to the Red Bay anchor knot is that because it's based on the munter hitch, which is a sliding hitch, no matter how hard your boat tugs at this anchor, no matter how much tension is put on that line, this knot won't bind down on itself so we'll always be able to untie it. So just another method to get into the munter hitch. Just make a bite in your line, pass the bite through the eye, and then pass the working end only of your rope through the, the eye that you've created in the rope, through the bite. Show you that one more time. Just going to make a bite in our rope. The bite is the bend in the rope, pass the bite through the eye pass the working end through that bite, and there's our munter hitch. Now that's the basis of Ted's anchor knot, and that's where the advantage comes in that it, this knot won't bind down on itself, but it's also not usable yet as an anchor knot because it slips and the rope would just pull out. So the way to finish this off is just with three half hitches. Cross the rope under the standing part of the rope, and then you've created a hole here, just pass it back through there. Just that simple knot like that. You've crossed the standing part of the rope, you've created an opening, pass it through there, do it one more time, and there is the anchor knot. The munter hitch is now secured so it can't slide. There's no tension on these half hitches, so they won't bind down. You'll be able to untie them. And then once you have those untied, then you're down to your munter hitch, which itself was not going to bind down, so you'll always be able to untie this anchor.